viewers and other students. This is a data from Morogoro. My name is Remy Mnadi. I'm teaching geography form 4. The topic is climate and natural region. The subtopic which we should pass through is world climate types and their characteristic. World climate type and their characteristic. The content of today we should pass through and describe the major climate types of the world and their characteristics. This is only a single content. Starting with the world climate. What is climate? Ask yourself, what is climate, by the way? When we, are, we, we want to go to know different climatic conditions or climatic origin and the natural climate and the natural origin. What is a climate? A climate, this is the average weather condition of an area recorded for a long period of time. Usually it's above 30 years. We are saying that average weather condition. The day-to-day -day condition is a weather. Day-to-day, -day it is a weather. But with in a certain area, a dry weather condition occurring for all, almost 30 years, it means we categorize into another climate. So a climate, you can say, is the average weather condition recorded over 30 years. Climatic conditions vary from one to another. It varies from one to another. Climate found in Dodoma, for instance, in Dodoma, is quite different in the area found in Mbeya or in Kilimanjaro or in Dar es Salaam. They are quite different. So that is the meaning of varying from one place to another. And the temperature and the temperature and the rainfall, these are the main elements which determine the climate of the a certain area. Natural region. What is a natural region? We have seen climate and a natural origin. So what is a natural region? A natural region is a part of the earth surface with relative similar climate, vegetation and human activities in the part of the earth which have the same the same or relative similar in climate vegetation and human activity the region can be characterized by hot we can say it is the area is very hot for instance in dodoma very hot or cold for instance in kilimanjaro very cold or dry in this case, we will discuss natural regions and the, and the characteristic between on distinct temperature and the rainfall. In this meaning, it means we will discuss this climatic condition by basing two elements, that is temperature and the rainfall. Starting with number one is equatorial climate. The way the equatorial climate, we should first look on the its location. It is found between 0 and 5 degrees north and south of the equator. This is our equator. This is the equator. Degrees, no, zero, equator is a 0 degree and 5 degrees north and south of the equator. So it means this part, this area, is characterized by the heavy rainfall and the high temperature. And this area is known as equatorial climate. The area experiencing this equatorial climate is Congo Basin, Amazon Basin, the East Indies, the South Central Ghana, and some parts of Uganda and the Kagera in Tanzania. Congo Basin, these are the areas which face climatic, equatorial climatic condition. This one also face equatorial climatic and the Amazon. 
So all these are facing, they are passing nearby the equatorial origin. That is, we are saying that this area between 0 to 5 north and south is equatorial climatic condition. Characteristic of equatorial climate. This area experience, this area have, this area has high temperature throughout the India. It means the temperature of that area is very high throughout the year. The average temperature is 27 degrees. Daily mean temperature is 26 and the annual range of temperature is 2 degrees. So when we are saying it is the high temperature throughout the year, this is temperature and this one is a rainfall. The highest temperature is 27 here. The number of temperature is very high throughout the year. This is January up to December. The temperature is very high. This line is presenting the temperature and this bar is presenting the rainfall. So the area received very heavy rainfall throughout the year. Annual rainfall is about 2,000 millimeter. The rainfall here, it means once you sum up this throughout the year, it means the area could have 2,000 millimeter per year. Let us go in natural vegetation. As we have seen that natural, natural region should have the same climatic condition, natural regions and human activities. So in equatorial climate, in equatorial climate, natural region it cover it, the belt cover with the thick forest, thick forest called the south. The forest always is over evergreen throughout the year. This one is the part, this one is the part which is very evergreen throughout the year. And the forest is very thick, very thick, this one is very thick. That's why we are saying that the forest is very thick, called the self. And the forest always is green throughout the year. They are arranged in layers. They are arranged in layers. Once you are seeing the, observing this one, once you are observing this picture of forest, it means this one is the same as this one. They are arranged into layers. Once you go in equatorial area, you should see this. Some of the trees are very tall compared to the other. As you have seen the example here, we have seen some image that they have 125 feet, 38 meter, and this one 29 meter, and this one 17 meter. All of this, this can be generated into layers. Another, we can say, The trees, trees can grow up to 50 meters as we have seen in that part. Also, let us go further to animals found in the equatorial region. The equatorial region has a reach of animals. A reach of animals. Some of the animals are gorilla, chimpanzee. When we say gorilla is like this one. These are the gorilla, and this one are chimpanzee. All of these are observed or can be obtained into equatorial origin. Why these animals are not staying in that part? It means some of this area is very conducive for the animal to, to stay because the area is concentrated by a thick forest, and these animals are going to hide themselves in that forest. That's why they are seen. You can't see anywhere these chimpanzees, gorillas, and even in the scraps, 
scrub trees. They are not found there, but you can see in the area where there is enough a number of forest. Another thing is human activities. Human activities taking place in equatorial region are agriculture. This agriculture includes rubber plantation in Malaysia, rubber plantation in Thailand, Liberia, Indonesia. This rubber is planted as in large scale. Another is cocoa plantation in West Africa, Ghana, and South America. Palm oil plantation in Indonesia, Nigeria, and Malaysia. All of these are in agricultural activities. Another is fishing. As we have seen that in Kotori region, you have a lot of rainfall. Even the number of rivers are very huge. So we can say that <clears throat> another thing is fishing activities. The fishing is more based in Congo Basin, even in Amazon Basin. All of these, they are conducting fishing activities. Also, we can say lumbering. Due to presence of a high number of forests, some of the people are involved themselves in lumbering. lumbering. So they do cut down trees so as to produce timbers for construction. Also, hunting and, uh, hunting and food collection like fruits. Due to presence of enough number of people or forest in a certain, in that equatorial region, it means some of the fruits are being observed. So the people can, can gather them and uh, eat. Another climatic condition is savanna or tropical grassland climate. The tropical grassland climate is located in 5 to 20 degrees. 5 to 20 degrees, it means from the equator. From the equator. 0 to 5, we have seen that it is equatorial climate. So from 5 to 20 degrees, north and south of the equator, we see that it is a tropical grassland. So the tropical grassland, on the other hand, it is a transition. We can say that it is a transition from the equatorial climate to the desert climate. That's why we are saying we are, we term it as transitional climatic condition. That's why when we, are, we can categorize the human activities, it will be quite different from those far from the equator and those nearby with the equator. So the area occupies this tropical grassland includes East Africa, Central Africa, West and the Brazilian Plateau. This map shows the location of this climatic condition, a savanna climatic condition. This color presents the temperate grassland and this one color present the tropical grassland. So this is the temperate grassland which we will see in the next lesson, while this one is the tropical grassland as we have seen. This is the, the East Africa, Central Africa. We have the Brazilian, also the Brazilian plateau, this one. Brazilian plateau. Characteristic of tropical grassland or savanna climate. The area experiences a hot, wet, summer and warm, dry winter. This one. Another, during the summer, the mean monthly temperature is 30 degrees and during the winter is 20. This area, this is a climatology, shows the tropical grassland temperature and uh, rainfall. This is the, the rainfall. And uh, this one is the rainfall and while this one is the, the temperature. That's why in this part you say the temperature is very high just before the onset of the, the rainy season. Rainfall is moderate and higher near the area that experience equatorial origin. When we are saying 
nearby equatorial region. It means some of the areas in here, it means they have some the same characteristic from the equatorial to tropical grassland. That's why we're saying that this tropical grassland is a transition climate from the equatorial to desert climate. So this, this climatology presents how the number of rainfall is obtained in equatorial climate and the rainfall, amount of rainfall obtained. Natural vegetation. The difference in amount of rainfall in this result to the variation of vegetation from the area to the equatorial of the region. In this area, it means some of the vegetation which are found near to the equator they will be quite different to those which are found near to the or far apart from the equator. That's why the vegetation also will be differ. Even the human activities also will be differ. That's why we're saying that this tropical grassland is a transition climate from the equator to the, to the desert climate. There is a total grasses and a numerous trees in the region near to the equator. A tall grasses. Tall grasses, this one are found in the area near to the equator. That's why near to the equator we should see the tall grasses. But far apart from the equator, it means the grasses also will be very short and scattered of trees. Usually bushes and scrubs are obtained far from the, the equator. Another natural region we say concerning the this one is a baobab which is found far apart from the equator. Animals found in savanna climate. In tropical grassland, animal found includes giraffe, buffalo, elephant, lion, zebra, and other living organisms or animals which can be able to favor. Why this area, some of the animals are found there and they are not found in equatorial origin? It means some of the animals are no favor to stay in the area where there is a short grasses like giraffe, like an antelope or lion and a zebra. All these animals, they do prefer to settle in the area where they, there is a short grasses, but not tall grasses. That's why they are found in this area. Human activities taking place in this region. <coughs> in equatorial, in tropical grassland, in tropical grassland, the people engage mainly in livestock keeping. For instance, Maasai found in Tanzania, they are involved in livestock keeping, cultivation, fishing and the tourism industry. When we are saying fishing, cultivation, this cultivation it means agricultural activities. So the number of people or human beings obtained in this, in this tropical grassland, they are involved in production of food crops, maize, rice, millet, they are producing very, very much. Also, tourism industry is mainly practiced in tropical grassland. For instance, in Serengeti, Mikumi, National Parks, all of these, they are found in a tropical grassland. Another tourism industry is conducted because the, grass, the grassland is a home of great variety of animals. As I have said, some of the animals, they, pre, they do prefer much to settle in the area where the, the forest or the grasses are very short. That's why we are saying that these animals are obtained in this area. Another, this is the part of the National Park found in Tanzania. It is a Serengeti. Serengeti is a one of the tourist industry or tourist center, attractive center in Tanzania, Serengeti National Park. Now it is the end of our discussion, but 
Let me leave this, the question to you. We have given the picture or the photograph. The question states that start the picture given, then answer the question that follows. State the picture, start the picture this one. This is a picture. Study it carefully from the foreground, from the middle ground, from the background. Study it carefully. Then answer the question that follow. Question number one. With evidence, with evidence, name the climate of the area. Name the climate of the area. With evidence, tell us why you have said that the climate, it is equatorial. The climate, it is tropical grassland. Tell us with evidence, why are you saying that? Question number two. Mention any two characteristics of the climate named in one above. It means once you can tell us it is equatorial climate or it is tropical climate, tell us why with the characteristic, tell us its characteristic, that is climate which you have named. Identify the common name of the animals found. In this area we have some of the animal, the common name. Common name of this animal, tell us, what is the common name? Justify the role of the figure shown in the middle ground of the picture. Justify. Tell us, at the middle ground here, we have some of the objects found in this area. Tell us, what are these objects? And then, tell us the role of this object to the environment. What is its importance to the environment? Another is demonstrate the economic activity that might be taking place in the area. Tell us from this area, what is the economic activities might be taking place in this area? Might be one or more than one, but you can mention even two, three, the economic activities which can be taking place in this area. Thank you for, for listening. It is the end of our discussion. Thank you. NLAB Innovation Academy inatangaza nafasi za masomo ya Information Technology kwa ngazi ya certificate na diploma kwa wanafunzi waliomaliza kidato cha 4, kidato cha 6 na chuo NTA Level 3. Chuo kipo Kinondoni Vijana jijini Dar es Salaam. Zaidi ya kusoma, mwanafunzi anapewa nafasi ya kuanzisha mradi wa kiteknolojia pamoja na kupatiwa mentor wa kumwongoza. Pia tunamsaidia mwanafunzi kutafuta scholarships pale anapohitimu. Tupigie leo 0677 4486 au 0744100231 au tembelea tovuti yetu www.nia.ac.tz